Yes, yes team, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today's video will be going through five simple tips you can use to improve your gym recovery and get faster gains. If you are new to the channel, my name is Dan and I simplify losing fat and building muscle to get you better results. So why is this important? Well, this is five areas that I see holding people back a lot in the gym and you can spend years and years going through the same exercises, going through the motions, being consistent in the gym but not seeing any changes in the mirror. So if you make these tweaks, these five areas, I guarantee you're going to speed up your results. Drop the video a like if you are interested in this sort of content, really helps the channel grow and we're going to get into today's tips. Also stick around to the end of the video because I'll be giving you a free training program that you can follow to track your gym progress and ensure you are making progress. So getting into today's tips, tip number one is going to be rest days. So many people go in the gym, train every single day and think that the more that you do, the more sessions you do per week, training every single day is going to lead to faster results. Now I made this mistake when I first started out and it's a very common one and I, you understand where it's coming from and if you enjoy the gym it's quite hard to stay away right but the thing is you've got to remember is coming back to how we build muscle that is progressive overload which means increasing the weight in the gym over time or increasing the number of reps you are doing on the same weight over time this creates positive adaptations for the body and forces it to grow now if you are not progressing the weights in the gym then it doesn't matter if you're doing seven sessions per week. If the weights are stalling in the gym, then you are not gonna see the changes in the mirror that you are looking for. So it's so important that you do give yourself a minimum of one to two rest days per week. The way that I like to split my training is into four or five days of training and taking a rest day on the fourth day. So for example, you could do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I could push full legs, rest on the Thursday, and then do a session Friday and Saturday. And if you're more beginning to intermediate, you're not gonna need five sessions realistically per week. You could do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So giving yourself sufficient rest days in between sessions makes your gym sessions more productive and you are gonna get more out of them. Point number two, rest periods. Now, even advanced and intermediate lifters, make this mistake and there was a myth back in the day that if you do hypertrophy training you need to rest 30 to 60 seconds between sets now the problem with this is you're not actually giving your body enough time to recover between your sets and your performance is going to tank later in the session so if you do a heavy set relatively close to failure rest for 60 seconds you'll find that your performance will decrease as the session goes on and the importance of rest periods is about mitigating fatigue, managing your recovery. So I guarantee you, if you go from currently resting one minute between sets to resting three minutes between sets or even two minutes, your performance is going to dramatically improve and the weights will go up in the gym. I see people in the gym every single day doing 30, 60 seconds between sets, feeling like they're chasing the pump and actually making progress when in actual fact, you are much better off resting for longer. The studies are quite clear on this. If you rest three minutes between sets versus one minute between sets, you're gonna vastly improve your strength and your gains. It's as simple as that. So give yourself more rest between sets and I guarantee your results will massively improve. Tip three is sleep. Now, if you are someone that is constantly searching for the latest supplement, the latest hack, diet fad, things like that, that are gonna speed up your results, a lot of people overlook sleep, which sounds silly to say, but the most important thing you can do to improve your performance in the gym, ensure that you are getting good results in the mirror, improving your body composition, is just getting good quality sleep. Now, if you get seven to nine hours on a consistent basis, compare that to getting five or six hours sleep per night, the changes in the mirror in terms of body composition, losing fat, building muscle are gonna be drastic. And also, you're just gonna be feeling a lot better mentally, physically, able to push yourself more in each training session and less hunger cravings, better cognitive abilities, better mood, improved sleep is just gonna have so many benefits to your life and it's probably the most overlooked area of getting good results in the gym. Tip number four, protein intake. Now. If you are someone that is training hard in the gym consistently, but wondering why your weights are not going up, now, you, a lot of people hold themselves back by not consuming enough protein. Protein is vital for building muscle, recovering between your gym sessions, and in order to get the weights going up over time. So if you are 
even if you're going into a calorie deficit and your calories are low enough to lose fat, if you do not have your protein high enough, you are gonna to get to the point where you're stripping away muscle as well as fat. And now, if you wanna get lean, this is not ideal. You're gonna to want to be able to cling onto that muscle mass, improve the weights over time, and you cannot do this if your protein is too low. So how are you gonna go about this? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have one gram of protein per pound of your body weight. Now, if you are over, significantly overweight or obese, use a target body weight in this calculation instead. So take your target body weight in kilos, times it by 2.2, or take your body weight in pounds and take one gram of protein per pound of your body weight or your target body weight in pounds. That is how you're gonna go about it. This is optimal really for building muscle. Now you can get away with a bit less if you're in a bulking phase, but for most people, it's best to shoot as high as you can because in my experience, people just under eat protein in general. The most of the population are not having enough. So you may as well aim as high as you can. And if you come in a bit under this one gram per pound threshold, then you know that is not the end of the world. But protein intake is vital. The more consistent you can be with that, the faster the results are gonna be in the gym. Now, the fifth and final point that is super important that I'm gonna go through here for you improving gym recovery is quality, uh, quality, not quantity, in terms of the amount of work, the number of sets you are doing in the gym. So volume is typically the word that is referred to the number of sets that you are doing per muscle group in the gym. Most people rush to increase the number of sets they're doing rather than focusing on progressive overload and increasing the weights we are lifting, which I referred to earlier. Now, always come back to the point that increasing weights in the gym is a far better measure of you building muscle than you adding a more quantity of sets. So always go back to quality, not quantity. Ask yourself, how many set, how many reps do I have left in this working set? How many did I have in the tank? This is known as reps in reserve, RIR, and it's a good measure of your training intensity. There needs to be a minimum level of training intensity, so I would recommend not leaving more than one to three reps left in the tank on a working set. Once you've established this training intensity and you are training hard in each working set, training close enough to failure, progress the weights over time before you increase the number of sets you are doing. Ignore increasing number of sets, looking at volume for now, because you are potentially gonna impact your recovery more than you are going to build muscle. Now you can look at increasing the number of sets you're doing later down the line, once you are sure that the weights are already going up and your, your ability to recover is fine. But for most people, the first point of call is, are my weights going up over time? Am I tra training close enough to failure? Later down the line, you can look at adding a bit more volume, but junk volume, which is just poor quality working sets, holds a lot of people back. So prioritize training close enough to failure and increasing the weight over time to get faster results in the gym. So as promised early in the video, there is a free training program for you. So if you head to my Instagram bio in the description, click the link and then there is a free download there for you, full body training program that you can follow to get great results in the gym. So if you are someone that only wants to commit to three sessions per week, this is gonna be a great starting point to ensure you are recovering between your gym sessions, progressing the weights over time. If you need a hand with any of this, just feel free to drop me a DM, in, DM on Instagram or drop me a email information is in the description i'm more than happy to help so free training program for you in the bio really hope you enjoyed today's video you took some value from it if you did take some value from it reminder to subscribe to the channel if you're new drop the video a like let me know in the comments what more you would like to see going forward and if you are looking to level up your results struggling to see progress in the mirror getting frustrated with your current rate of progress i can help you there and you can visit my website again in the description to inquire about online coaching and get great results together if you would like to work with me. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video. See you very soon. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.